that we have our actions set up and we're dispatching them, let's test them out to see if they're working. And they give us this dev tool. And you'll find that here uh, within the documentation. I'll have this link down in the description. And right here is what you're after, the store dev tools. And we'll install it like we did with the store in the NGRX. We'll install it. So click on the installation and then go down to this one. Uh, this would be fine. So copy this. And let's get this installing a while. Open up the command line, paste, and install. And while this is installing, we'll need one more thing. We'll need a browser extension. I already have this installed. I'm just going through the steps so you can see it. But we'll need one more thing. If we go back to the browser, we'll need a browser extension. And that is this link right here. And you also find that down in the description as well. I already have this installed and set up. And this is a really good tool. And we'll be checking this out in a second. So after we get this installed, this is going to make a change to our application right here, our app module. And we'll check that out real quick. So let's open up our app module. And right here, it added to our imports this right here. Then here are a bunch of options that you can also check out in the documentation. And if we go back to the documentation, just to check those options out real quick. And we go right here. And then right here, click on this link. And here are all the different options that you could use. And we're like using the max age. That's the one they set up for us automatically. And that basically is, is like the history or the, the max amount of actions that you can store in your history. And um, there's a whole bunch of different options here. But uh, now that we have this installed and we got our dev tools all set up, now we're ready to restart the application and see our actions in action. So uh, open up the command line. I already have it running. I'm going to restart it just to be safe. So shut it down and, I, and I'll clear it out. And you're, you're gonna be tempted to use ng-serve, but I use npm run dev. And then we'll go to the application and refresh it. And then right click and open up the developer tools. And then all the way on the far right, click on the arrows if you don't see it, but you're looking for Redux and there it is, Redux. And this is the tool that they give us. And it's a really good tool. Like you can see the actions that are being dispatched. Also, you can see the current state of your store, like what's being stored in your store. Like right now, our current state is we have a product state. It's empty right now. It gives you a chart. Uh, this is really nice for visualizing all your different states. Then up here is the difference between the last state and the, this current state. And there is no changes the state of the store so if we click on this click on state and the tree that's the one i usually keep it on the tree now let's go and see our actions so if we click on our actions we only dispatch one action right now and let's go and trigger our first action so we click on this and now we can see the product list component kicked off a load products action that's the one we created uh right here in the last video if we open this up that is this one. So that got kicked off. And then this was called. And then it kicked off the second one. It dispatched the second one. And it was successful. And we had a list of products. If we go back here. Now this fooled me uh, when I first was doing this. Like I was like, oh, okay, great. So if we click on this. I, I seen a list of products in here. I was like, oh, wow. So it worked. And now I have a list of products. But that doesn't actually change the state of your store. Not yet, anyways. Uh, it did uh, get a list of products and it was successful at it. But if we click on the state now, so you got to make sure you're, you're clicking on the right buttons here. The state of the store is still the same. It's empty. So we're going to be changing that in the next video when we set up our reducers. We're going to be updating the state of our application. That's what the reducer is all about. Just don't get fooled like I did uh, with the actions. Like when you're clicking on these actions, make sure you click on the right button, you know. So the action is totally different than the state. So in the next video, let's set up our reducer and actually add this data to our store, that we're, our product data to the store. And we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you then.